Welcome to Big Brain Thinker. Today, we're here to explore your knowledge of electromagnetic waves. Let the brainy journey begin. What is the relationship between wavelength and frequency in the EM spectrum? The answer is letter B, inversely proportional. Two, these are wave-like patterns that move up and down or side to side, created by electric and magnetic forces working together. Remarkably, they can travel through space even when it seems empty. The electric part of the wave moves at a right angle perpendicular to the magnetic part. The answer is letter C, E waves. Three, what is the speed of M waves? The answer is letter A, 300,000 kilometers per second. Four, this is the only part of the M spectrum that can be seen by the naked eye. The answer is letter C, visible light. Five, this is the type of electromagnetic waves that remote controls have. The answer is letter B, infrared. 6. These are electromagnetic waves generated by extremely energetic objects. They naturally come from things like pulsars, exploding supernovas, neutron stars, and even from the breakdown of certain radioactive materials. The answer is letter A gamma rays. 7. He was a scientist who first ever observed and documented X-rays in 1895. The answer is letter D, Wilhelm Conrad Roentgen. Eight, these are M waves that have a higher frequency than radio waves, and they are popular for the use of heating food, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi connections. The answer is letter C, microwaves. Nine, which of the following waves are part of non-ionizing radiation? Before we resume, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like, share, and stay tuned for part two for a plethora of exciting learning adventures and more brain-boosting content. The answer is letter B, radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, lower frequency of u wave. 10. What are the two classifications of X-rays? The answer is letter A, soft and hard X-rays. 11. He is the scientist who first ever proved the existence of this M wave beyond the violet spectra of visible light. Who and when? The answer is letter C, John Ritter 1801. 12. This is an organization or association that has provided the standard dose limits for radiation exposure in order to ensure the protection and safety of workers and individuals. The answer is letter D, the International Atomic Energy Association, or IEA. 13. This type of exposure happens when you get high amounts of radiation exposure over a short period of time, such as a person undergoing cancer treatment. The answer is letter acute exposure. 14. What are the measurement units used to measure for radioactivity? The answer is letter B, Curie or Becquerel. 15. This occurs when an individual is exposed to a small amount of radiation over a long period of time. The answer is letter C, chronic exposure. 16. What are the measurement units used to measure for dose equivalent? The answer is letter A, Roentgen equivalent man, or Siever Yusive. 17. What are the colors of light produced by the visible light?
The answer is letter B, Roybib. 18. What are the measurement units for absorbed doses? The answer is letter D, absorbed dose card, dose or grey guard. 19. What type of frequency is commonly used in TV, broadcasting, GPS, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth technologies? The answer is letter B, ultra high frequency waves. 20. Bonus question. Define the electromagnetic spectrum in your own words. As we wrap up, let us know your score and share your newfound insights on electromagnetic waves in the comments below. Until next time, keep those big brains thinking.